What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. So, I did do a little bit more farming, and now we are full scavenger gear. Which is great, because, as uh, we noted before, with the full set bonus, I get back health from doing a finishing sequence. And then, of course, I have the backstab bonus. So, just a really nice starter set, since, you know, we'll be able to, uh, to restore our health as we kill enemies. So, anyway, let's continue on. Um, for this area, I'm actually going to approach it this way. I want to say this is what we did. Okay, that opens up later. Is that physical aggression something? Does it blow me? It's down the ground. It's that guy. I think I will probably come down if I, uh... I'm just gonna take care of that. Sounds like somebody is walking up. Don't see anybody. Amazing, amazing difference in how potent we are. A full set on. Which, to be fair, it didn't really take that long. Um, you know, I basically did like two loops of the area, and that was uh, two loops was long enough that I was able to farm up all of the stuff I needed between a couple consumables that I. Oh, never mind. That's a bad pile. Pile of bad stuff. So yeah, definitely something that that I highly recommend doing because having uh, having gear makes a hell of a difference. Another thing I should mention, um, so platforming in this game is a little tricky, but uh, there is loot that you can get access to by smart platforming. So while I was farming, for example, the only reason I'm mentioning this is I found another directional parry analyzer. Um, which actually, let's just run over there, I'll just show you all where it was at, because those are definitely worth having access to. just trying to run in and show this without fighting the guys just to save on some time um, but like hey, right here where you see these things up on you. you can you go and jump jump and jump and there should be a parry analyzer right here for you that you can pick up and then after that I also went and found another little hidden treasure jump down you can go up here and open this up and there's another treasure inside so anyway point being that there are 
a lot of little things hidden around that may seem initially like they're out of reach that you can reach with just a little bit of ingenuity. So just something to keep in mind as you play. I mean, of course, I'll end up covering all this stuff and, and how to get everything on the walkthrough, but you know, I know some people, they they just want their, their first experience with maybe just a little bit of a hint. Oh, you done messed up now. really want to get the father dude's spear because I'm a big fan of, of the spear weapons but uh, the one I have right now I mean my spear is, is okay it's just it's not like it's not redonkulous like the pro weapon I have is all weapons are generally like super good like I remember in the the first surge I used the uh, the like great sword arm blade that you could get from the boss I legit use that thing for seemingly forever. Um, after that, I don't know if I can get over to you yet. I think it's really going to depend how badly the toxic hurts me. Well, here's, here's, what, we'll do. here's what we'll be smart. Let's go up. We'll open the door, and then we'll check. Hey there, buddy. Let's open that guy up. I don't know, man. No, hang on a second. That looks like I actually reach it from this way. Here, I was going to try and do a dummy suicide jump. Bow down. Oh, 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 that was dirty. I don't know if I die walking in that gunk, but I am not a fan of trying to find out. Uh, so what have we picked up? Physical aggression redirector. Make sure that attacks always hit the targeted body part, ignoring swing directions. The damage dealt is reduced to 75% for attacks that would normally hit a different body part because of the swing direction, though. Um, that's pretty, pretty nice, actually. That would definitely help ensuring that I'm I'm getting the parts that I need. I mean, right now, I don't think I can take off. Because so what I have on, the reason I'm wearing all my armor is because I have this on, which is boosting my core power up by five. Um, if I take that off, I, I drop. But two more levels, I wouldn't need that. But regardless, I would need actually eight levels because I would need levels for that. Energy decay is not bad. Stamina regen on battery is not bad. So some of this stuff's decent, but the big thing is just I need to, to level more. Which is another thing regarding farming in the search. So there is a multiplier bonus that builds up as you continue to kill enemies. So essentially the longer you go uh, without resetting, like without either you know dying or uh, going back to base, the fatter the bonus is going to get. So when it comes to farming, just a friendly tip, those of you. Oh, no, I want to check what's behind me. Nothing back here. I figured there'd be something for sure. Just to show what I'm talking about, we'll we'll backstab this one guy before we hit that and uh, spend our stuff. That backstab damage boost is just silly. So see down in the bottom right how it says 1.6. Means I have basically a 60% bonus right now into how much I'm getting. Let me kill another enemy. You can see it's up to 1.65. So the basic gist here is the longer you spend farming, just you know. Enemy to enemy to enemy to enemy to enemy, the fatter that bonus is going to get. And eventually, I mean, you'll, you'll get up to where it's like 
you know, 2.5 to 3, which that gets pretty silly. Toxic filter. Just the buildup rate of poison effects. Damn, 200 poison resist. That is going to be insane on some of these upcoming areas because I did not have that before. And that really is like a stupid bonus. Um, so we're actually not going to rest, even though we could rest and we could bank our scrap. You know, once again, kind of keeping with what I just mentioned, we're up to a 1.65 modifier. It's time to, to keep that bonus going and get nice and fat. Um, now, I want to say there was a way to jump across, like over to there. Maybe that's later on when I get a, some things. Hello there, little pile of scrap. I love this thing, man. Jesus, with this, I could... I don't even have to do my, my normal walkthrough prep. I just I see where everything is at. Um, do we want your big old hammer thing? Hi. I probably won't use it. You're crazy if you don't think I'm gonna collect it. chest. Recapacitor. How many imprints to improve your batteries? Vents the decay of one battery. Huh. Lost five. Um. I mean, it'd be something that'd be good after my rig is, like, all the way leveled up with a bunch of stuff, but right now I just don't see it as necessary. down to a true pimp. Oh, the auto drive. If I remember, that was like a spray can in our damage 30, but it's like, I want to say it's like three round burst or something. How many cell consumption? I think this is like almost used up because I don't I, I've been at three ammo for a while and I don't know if I get more uh, I'll try it out I'll try it out just to see uh, vulture headgear that's the uh, vulture this okay um, mm. so it's heavier but I'm kind of tempted to go for a 3-3 three, three build just because having bonus tech scrap I think sounds super appealing. In Jericho City, everyone is equal before the law. You can run, little girl. You sure as hell can't hide. That's it, kid. It's over. You're coming with us. Wait, what is she doing? Hurry up and grab her! Apparently, crazy psionic abilities. always want to watch those because they give you access to a bass loop. In this case, the metamorphic talents, which have nano damage. I think nano is this game's uh, idea of bleed, but uh, well, I'll, I'll show them off a little bit and kind of show you guys what some nano damage is capable of doing. Um, so yeah, this area was all locked off in the Tandy last play. Copy that. Safety precautions initiated. Soldier. 
just going this way. Got nothing to do with y'all. Welcome to Best Clinic this side of Seaside Court. Uh, I've been able to keep them at bay, but I'm not quite. Does Vidania Tavarish? First aid station. See, I feel like this guy should have a clinic. quest. Normally, I give you real thorough checkup for free, but we run out of medical equipment. How pathetic, da? Damn apparatchiks confiscate nano machines all over Jericho to cover up truth about nano disease. Defrag. Without alternate supply routes, I'd be screwed. Just a moment ago, they shot down secret delivery drone, right? You'll have to be sneaky. But if you pull off, little heist, I... And the loot from the shot down drone. What's that? Uh, you have some crazy looking gear. Oh, here we go. Hello. Electric damage may stun, fire may set them ablaze, poison may intoxicate them, nano damage may explode on them. Nano explosion! I'll take that. Plasma Olga. Which is probably not as good as what I got. Um, let's compare it. This. It has more damage, but less impact, less attack speed, less energy gain, and higher stamina consumption. So that's going to have to be a pass. I think I may need lifter hook to go much farther here. Force hook for that.
So these guys I probably can't tackle. Three is a bit higher than I really want to mess with right now. So that force hook just brings me up to here. Grab that. I said a drone it crashed. I doubt it's right in there. That seems a little... So I got reduced buildup of poison and nano so far. This is really good. And this looks like a nice handy dandy shortcut. Oh, that's super convenient. Hell yeah, dude. Sitting on 3,000 scrap. Got to keep that bonus nice and fat. Picked up a couple things. Let me check. Uh, I think this is my quest log. On the loot, find the shady doctor's defrag smuggling drone to gain access to his first aid station. I don't need access to your first aid station. I was just gonna do it because I'm a nice guy. Or if that's it over there. Um. I have no clue how to get over there, though. Probably a gate or something that we gotta unlock. Well, I'm not too keen on giving up my bonus, so let's just, uh... Let me talk to him just in case I, like, accidentally picked it up. I swear, hypocritical... Of course, Tovari. Huh. Your nanite readings are... You're stronger than entire Russian weightlifting team. Does we done yet, Avarish? That shortcut I open up in a little bit here. So for now, we'll continue going this way. Body, my body. I'll cut it off. It'll be my body. Boom! Thank you. That's mine. Vulture gear. All right now, I know this area. There's a couple of approaches I could take here. Um. Ah! We're gonna start by going up top. Grab that. I wonder if they ever added anything up here. This was just like empty before. Oh no, it's a shortcut gate. Okay. Okay. okay, and going that way leads to death, so don't go that way. What man, the the whatever engine they are using for this is leading to some like really dope screenshot potential. Oh, 
all these scrub weapons that I'm not going to use. Ah, can't jump in there. Ah, that's crazy, man. The, the backstab damage boost is so good. I want from you. And... Give me helmet. Um, I don't like that. That's three ammo per shot. That's my only, only uh, draw with it. I'm like, oh man, three ammo. It's kind of a lot. Well, I do love this thing. I don't think it'll work against the boss, man. The the thing that we fought in the demo, little little Johnny or whatever. I get it. Walk through the uh, walk through the sludge. Yes, yes. I just noticed we're up to like 27 minutes already. Loadouts. What? So I can have saved loadouts? Oh, that's awesome. That is so awesome. So I can have like a set that's just pre-built for needing to farm enemies and then one that's like for bosses. Oh, that's I like that. I like that a lot. All right. Um, we're going to wrap this one up. Uh, good chunk. We're going to keep going. We got a fat multiplier right now. We are going to farm in that scrap. Uh, so we should reach the... The, the town Seaside Heights, I think it's called, in the next episode. So either way, stay tuned, and I'll catch you all soon enough with more of The Surge 2.